of 1776. America is a cancer country. America is a big stomach. And that's why everybody wants to come here, because America represents security. For any foreigners, America is perceived as a beautiful home with a nice fireplace and a lot of food on the table. Thanksgiving. Make sense? That's what America yes. looks like uh-huh. to the eye of foreigners. Now, uh, this being a cancer, uh, America was born with the head of the dragon, which is a very powerful positive energy, and I wrote the 600-page book on the power of the dragon, okay? This head of the dragon is in the second house of money of the United States in the sign of Leo. So by God, this great country was supposed to be the leader of this world, exactly what Mr. Trump is not doing and what President Obama was doing, okay? What I'm trying to say here. Uh, the information I'm offering you are far from being political. They are coming from the spiritual realm of supracosmic consciousness. So it is very, very, very important to understand, not to take my work as a political guidance. I don't care if you support Trump. I don't care if you don't like Trump or if you don't like me either. Okay, I'm here to do a job, and that is to further your cosmic consciousness to reintroduce God cosmic divinity because what people do not know is that Jesus' initial ministry was cosmic. Cosmic meaning that Jesus wanted to introduce humanity to our Father in the heavens. And that's why he had 12 apostles that represent the 12 hours of the day, the 12 months of the year, the 12 sins, the 12 jury, the 12 apostles, the 12 tribe of Israel, the 12 knot of music. And all those informations are buried into the 75 miles of secret library under the Vatican. They've stolen from you, stolen from your children, and my mission is to bring it back. Bring back astrology where it used to be accepted as a solid discipline in all our college universities because that will stop. That will stop the nightmare, all the children degenerating and killing themselves nonstop. What? 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 Well, in here, in here. In here, what? 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 My car's been stolen. No, it's in the back. <laughs> <laughs> My wife is <was> freaking out. <laughs> My car's been stolen. No, I just put it in the pot on the other side of the house because there is some work to do. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> well, the other day I had a, a, an astrologist uh, woman, and she was going, uh, of course, it's like interest, it would be interesting to have it to you because she was your polar opposite. But she was doing the charts of the candidates and who would be the best, who's going to be the most successful, who's going to win. I don't know if okay. you're able to do anything like that. Yeah. Okay. Now, you know, now you, are, you are asking me, uh, like, there is a big, big, big ball game going on, okay? And there is, uh, like, 20 or 30 people on, on that ball game, and who is going to win? Okay, first of all, you're not supposed to use astrology um, for personal gain, okay? Or, and, and even though it, that means I would have to draw uh, dozens and dozens of charts. I would have to look right. Every he one does of the same people. thing. No, he does the same and, it, thing. and again, my work is not politically oriented. Uh, I just do not feel it's right for me to, to spend the time and the effort to tell you who's going to be the next president. All I can tell you is that Trump is a dual. A dual means he's a Gemini, okay? Um, he's got two faces, okay? Uh, and mm-hmm. he, cannot have, he cannot have only one hotel or one golf course or one deal, okay? He's a dual. A dual means everything in his life will be two, four, six, and eight. That's why he has so many legal suits, seminal, so many uh, affairs, so many corporations, so many of these, so many lies, so many of everything. He's a Gemini, ruled and controlled by Mercury, which cannot be trusted. He's dual. Anytime you deal with mm-hmm. the one, you cannot trust. It's just the way it is. Go to drturi.com, oh. click on Gemini, and read the soul's purpose. Now, at the same time, he was born with the I'm the child. Of I'm a recovering Gemini child. I'm recovering <laughs> the daughter of a Gemini mother. I'm recovering. So, so, you, can, so, so you can relate to me. Gemini parents. Yeah, oh, God. 
But it's their gift. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong. It's just their gift to be dual, to be able to adapt, to have two faces, to jump from one subject to the other, to repeat themselves and endlessly. Uh, and then all these scientists and all these, uh, you know, what you call uh, experts, neuroscientists, psychiatrists, psychologists, trying to uncover our present idiosyncrasy, they are unable to do it because they don't use forensic astrology. Forensic astrology uh, is real. Uh, you can Google Dr. Turi, President Trump, and you can read all about our president. I already have done his chart when I knew he was going to be a nightmare for the United States and for the world. I did that, but he was elected. And it actually was led by the reptilians, which is completely infected uh, mentally and physically. Uh, he doesn't drink. He doesn't smoke. So he's not using the goodies that other people usually use, but he's infected with greed. Greed meaning he cannot have enough of power and enough of money. Okay? I mean, if I was a millionaire, believe me. I would not run for the president, being the president of the United States. I go fishing out there and have fun for the rest of my life because I don't have that greed, <laughs> that need for power, that need right. for control. He has. So is there a way out of this mess? <laughs> It is it is comic. America has to learn something when it comes to racism, when it comes to uh, particularly to racism and foreigners. America is going to be the greatest country in the world because it has always been the greatest country in the world. But America, like any human being, has weaknesses. America is uh, uh, represented by its population. Its population is led uh, by Trump. I mean, let me explain something. Maybe you don't understand a little bit more about his legacy upon the world. Okay. If, let's say, a father of a large family is a religious fanatic, is a Mormon, is a witness of Jehovah, or is, a, is a, uh, an atheist, uh, or John uh, Scientology, or he smokes pot, pot for, for that matter, the rest of the family will be led by that president. Is the president of his family. So, Anybody that is under the jurisdiction of the of the father or the most important figure, okay, in that case, the father of this small family or Trump, the father of the United States, okay, is power. The more he is big, the more he has people, the more he has children, the more his idiosyncrasy will have to be felt because he has the power. He is in control. So knowing that he's still is infected, and knowing that his tail is running him, the, the reptilians put him in power. But you need to go back before that. Why? Why did the Russian use technology? Because the previous president, which is Obama, was born with the tail of the dragon in Aquarius. And that means Ooh. he's not lucky with technology. So he was an invitation for the Russian. Now, President Putin has the head of the dragon, the lack, the growth, the opportunity in the sign of Aquarius. So anytime you dwell with technology, he is lucky. His head is in there. And because Obama had the tail, he brought already the infestation before Trump was elected. Okay. Now, we can go a little bit further about America because America has the head of the dragon in Leo and in the second house of money, making this country very wealthy. But the tail is in Aquarius. Aquarius rules the sudden release of energy, okay? So I knew, I knew about a lot of things when I check on, on the, United States, the United, States, United States chart. This country is prone to suffer sudden release of energy as experienced, of course, with Pearl Arbor, the sudden mm -hmm. attack in Pearl Arbor and the 9-11 both sudden attack on those twin tower. America is seriously prone to suffer a nuclear exchange. I don't want to talk about that. So you that. Think, think we're going you, to have you, a nuclear exchange. You well, asked me, a lot of people you, are predicting it, but is that, well, that no, 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 or is that something because no, 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 of Bert? No, no, no. well, the difference between you and between me and all those other predictors is that I offer proof. Those predictors are just words. I put the green where my mouth is. Okay, and I will prove that to you later. 
the good news about Dr. Cherry is that I'm not only warning you of what could happen to the United States, okay, which is written in light in the stars, but how to avoid it. Do not okay. support, endorse, or believe any of these talking heads that they, that's saying that America is going to end up in a nuclear exchange and we're going to be dead. That is feeding the reptilians who cannot survive without your fears, without chaos. Remember the dark force. Always remember when you talk, when you do something. Am I pushing the light or am I pushing the evil? It's a choice. It starts with you. Great. You need to battle the reptilians at their own psychical game. They amuse us with religion, with sports, with debauchery and sex, with politics. So that you're so focused into the, the human's affairs that you forget about them. They don't want you to think about them. Okay? They use drugs. Right. They will use anything and everything to make sure you're negative. It's very important. It's critical to be part of the solution. And listening to me, be positive. Do not give in to the political lunatic to the fear, the high possibility of America being ended up in, in, in nuclear exchange is very real. doesn't have to happen. Remember what I said earlier? We create our reality. With the well, thought. when I was very young, I went on board a, a craft, and they showed me 24 specialities. And so for me, it's just like, well, like going down the superhighway. Which direction do you want to go? Same thing. You're always the chooser. We're the choosers. So if I want to go into nuclear holocaust, you know, enjoy yourself because you're, you're going to resist whether you're here or there. But it, exactly. it's like that's that's our choice, and I'm, I don't go there. I'm just uh, I'm I'm like a scientist, and, you know, an investigator, right? And I'm going. Well, isn't it interesting that all these um, you know time travelers and and things that are, people are predicting are predicting certain things, right? It's like they right. want to direct us into this agenda. It becomes an agenda, and it's like so. What is behind that? To Steer us into that reality, into that uh, timeline, that multiple. Exactly. And, and this is. And so it, I look at that that way. Yeah, yeah. go ahead. This, this is why, Janet, I have that problem with uh, David Icke because he has, he has reached a pretty high level of notoriety and he's constantly talking about negativity, negativity. Uh, and and then he, he, all, all he wants when you look at it, knowing his chart is an Aries. Okay. He was born two or three days before or after Hitler, and all, all, he has a subconscious fear of power, a subconscious fear of government, and he's passing on his own fears to the people he magnetizes into his own matrix. Okay? And he doesn't know. Mm-hmm. The people listening to him do not know. So that's why I told him many times, stop, find a way, give, an ex- give something, give a way out. Don't just say this and this and that, and then let, let the ball roll wherever you put them. Don't, don't put your dropping like this upon humanity. It's important that you become more, uh, uh, more realize what you're doing out there, especially when you have such a, fo- a large audience. You've got to be responsible. Well, I think so many people get, they get invested in the reality they've created because they have followers now, and if they divert from the reality, they undermine their own financial base. Exactly. So All they I kind of had that conversation with him. It's like, well, David, if you if, if you go down this road, and you know you're going to eventually go be out of business, right? So you have to switch it. <laughs> no, you got it. About the business. Yeah. yeah. All, well, he, yeah. all he want, all he wants is maintain his popularity and uh, go to the bank. He's a millionaire. He's wow. a millionaire. So well, all he wants is... And the other girl. He cannot Linda go... Linda Bolton Howe. It's He's the same story. When, 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 when Linda is talking about the moon being hollow, oh my God. She has absolutely no idea where the moon comes from. Let me tell you where the moon comes from, okay? That's Draco Shannon now. The moon was hired from one of the many, many moons around Jupiter. When the extraterrestrials, the Draconis, built this solar system, they needed various planets that would support life. So using for the lack of words, a nuclear device uh, directed from their spaceship. They move the moon away from uh, Jupiter, extraordinarily uh, um, gravitational forces, and let the moon towards the Earth, okay? That's why the moon is loaded with crater, okay? Sorry about my dog. That's why the moon is loaded with crater, and uh, 
and the Earth, which is next door, doesn't have any crater. Now, the moon is not a UFO base, and it's not hollow, because the moon needs enough mass in order to orbit around the Earth. You want to be a 